This week, the entire country was thrown into a state of fear as two suspected cases of the deadly coronavirus was reported in Ghana. Many questioned the preparedness of the country for a possible outbreak, and that is our story for the week. Here is Grace Hamwasari's report. Over 31,400 cases have been reported, including nine from Ghana. Out of this figure, 638 people are dead. The question is, what if the two cases which caused a lot of panic in the country turned out to be positive? Could Ghana have been able to contain the outbreak? It was a state of fear and apprehension as the country awaited the results of the two suspected cases reported at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. The scene at the Kolebu Emergency Center was one of anticipation. Staff who would not speak to us were seen in no masks and gloves. Visitors who were not in the appropriate gear were not allowed into the emergency center. I'm Pacham Beshe, my mom is Wahama. My boy, you know, now my whole son got four sets of masks. I came to visit my mom on admission. I was initially denied entry because I had no nose masks, so I had to go back. Later, news broke that the results were negative. And we got the confirmation, the preliminary confirmation was negative. And then the, the next one that came, which is the actual confirmation, shows that they are negative. It takes about six hours to get results from the Noguchi Memorial Institute when the situation is critical. If it is suspected that this is a novel uh, uh, coronavirus case, we may do that one first, so we can get the results for that. Though the results have proven negative, there is a lot of concern about the preparedness of the country to contain the virus. An executive of the non-state actors in health, Cecilia Senyo, said more needs to be done on preparedness. In a global village, my advice is that we should not be complacent. We should take all the necessary precautions and put in the necessary resources, build the capacity and share information with everybody so that we can be adequately prepared. The public has also been advised to ensure frequent hand washing. According to Dr. Yakubu Akbaribo, an aviation medicine specialist, it will take between two and three months for a vaccine to be identified. For now, scientists are racing up to get a vaccine uh, for, for this uh, virus. I think it's going to run for the next two, three months. Uh, but I believe strongly that for sure we'll definitely get the, the vaccine for it and then contain it. For some people, these two cases came as a test case for the nation's preparedness towards containing the disease. And it appears a lot more needs to be done when it comes to awareness and preparedness. Grace Hamwa Asari, TV3 News, Story of the Week, Accra.